Jason. Where are we going? Disney. Again? You're not tired of it yet? We were just there last week. You want to go again? All right, I guess we can go again. Bye-bye, Norfolk. See you in the new year. Two hours later. All right, Magical Express time. Boardwalk, here we come. There's Magical Buses again. Ah, we get a cruise line bus. Nice. Here we go. Back at it again, Carson. Almost to the boardwalk. And we're on property. Alright, Carson, here we are. Boardwalk. Going into the boardwalk. We're back home. Alright. At the boardwalk. Oh, look at all that Christmas stuff. Looks so pretty at Christmas time. All the garland. Looking good. Trees. Ah, oh, looky here. Carson, look. It is a big gingerbread. You remember it? This is a big gingerbread house, Carson. I think it kind of looks the same every year. But it's still super cool. Oh, it looked carrot cake. <laughs> And that, what is that other little one that we get? The one that's next to the carrot cake. I can't remember. Something like that. Those are so cute. All the little desserts. Victoria Arno. Flying fish. Super yummy. You gotta stay behind the red rope. Holy smokes, 42 gallons of honey. <laughs> That's a lot of sugar. Found all the stuff they sell. Gingerbread martini. Maybe gonna get a gingerbread martini? We gotta get the pin. I found one of the 25 pin Ooh. What is that? Spitz Kitchen? What's that? We're supposed to know this stuff. Nice ears. All right, we got our room early. Yeah. Want to go see it? Carson, you excited? We gotta wait for your stroller, though. All right, three, two, four, three. Three, two, four, three, this way. Let's see if this actually works this time. Yes, it worked. Whoa. This room is huge, first of all. This is really big. Huge. Wow. Now this is a room with a view. And it's raining. Yep. Holy moly, this is a cool view. It's a rainy day. That's a cool view. So there, that's like Abracadabra and Flying Fish right down there. This is a pretty awesome view. All right, quick room tour time. This is a boardwalk room, just a standard room with the uh, boardwalk view. All right, Carson's gonna help, I guess. So right when you enter the room, there's like this big cabinet here and this is where you're gonna find Little mini fridge, pretty much the same size as everything that we've seen. And then on top of that is a Keurig machine and an ice bucket and the thermostat. So not a whole lot to see there. And there's all the coffee inside this drawer. And then right off of that, it's a pretty big closet and it's got a nice size safe in it too. Could fit a laptop and an iPad and whatever else in there. 
and standard stuff. Then right to your left is the bathroom. This one looks like it's been maybe redone somewhat recently, but double sinks, which is always nice. And then it's got some of your Disney Resort products in there, a vanity cap and a shower cap, and mouthwash and lotion. But super nice size to get ready for sure. There's a dryer down there. And then the bathroom with the full length mirror on the back of the door. Then in here is just the bathroom. But the shower curtain's pretty cool. It's got like Ferris wheel on there, which is pretty awesome. And here, this looks like it's been maybe redone somewhat recently as well. Some nice tile work on there. H2O products. Very nice. So it's a nice size bathroom. In here, Megan asked too, when's the last time they refurbished these? And I think it's been a minute. Because it feels kind of old. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like 40s boardwalk theme, but I feel like and maybe. The other room we were in was like super. Yeah. So I feel like maybe it could be updated a little bit, but it is huge that was the first thing i said when we walked in now i know like the gopro makes everything look bigger than it really is but this room is like super big this is like polynesian big and like uh contemporary big those are the two oldest ones so those are the biggest ones but this one feels super big and i think we've we stayed in a boardwalk regular room once and the rest were dvc from what i remember in any event this one has two queen beds carson get off the bed with your shoes on so two nice size beds some like cool boardwalk art. Um, I noticed this, there's like no overhead lights in here though, but there is a ceiling fan, which you don't see a lot in the resorts, I don't think. Nice size uh, dresser here. Fairly nice size TV, but then I noticed this too. Since these rooms haven't been renovated lately, like all the newer ones have, they all have like the USB one. So this is like some thing that they just bought and put in the room. So there's two USBs there, two regular outlets. And I think this is two USB over here too, but it's busted and you can look inside and you can see the part like kind of floating around in there. I don't know if the camera can see it, but so that one's broken. It's more like boardwalk art. Mickey and Minnie, Disneyland, having a wonderful time at the boardwalk. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so two queen size beds. There's a sofa couch. This pulls out. Carson, this will be your bed. And this is Clay's canvas. A little carousel artwork. I like the wallpaper though, that's pretty cool. This is my bed. And then you got a little couch in the sitting area. But this is what I'm talking about. Like this, there is a ton of room over here. Yeah. You've got a lot of luggage. It seems like almost dead space. Like over there, there could have been something. I don't know. Like right here? But then over on this little desk, they, uh, this looks like it was added too. So it's got a couple of USB chargers, three outlets. Little mini lamp, which is pretty cool. So that's all the inside of the room, but yeah, if you're paying for the boardwalk view, this is what you're paying for. This is fantastic. I love this view. So, I guess I'm trying to get my bearings. I know everything that's down there. So there's Ample Hills, a little bit down. We're right next to the bakery, which is cool. And there's the margarita stand. Yeah, you can see a lot up here, I think. Big River Grill or Big River Works or I don't know, whatever it's called, is below us. That's what I think it is. Because then, like I said, there's like Abracadabra, Trattoria, Alfano, and uh, Flying Fish right to our left as we look out. So, and then the screen door store, Jelly Rolls, all that stuff is on that side. And then there is Yacht and Beach Club, which means Epcot is behind there, which is why we wanted to stay here so we could see the fireworks at night. But yeah, I mean, you cannot beat this view. This is awesome. So there you go. There's a quick little room tour of our bedroom here at the Boardwalk. All right, back in Epcot now. We're out of the resort. You guys want to go do more cookie stroll? Carson, you want to get some stamps? He's being so whiny today. First, we're going to go to Lahayam which is the black and white cookie. And then we need the gingerbread from the American Pavilion. And we need, what was the last one I'm forgetting? Ginger, is it, um, surprise? Black and white cookie. We need the black and white, the gingerbread, and the Linzer cookie. Oh. That guy makes me so nervous. Up on his tall ladder. Oh, this is Lahayam. They also have like a pastrami on rye, but we are here for the black and white cookie. This will be the third stamp for our cookie trail.
All right, so there it is, the black and white cookie. It's as big as my hand. Anything would be that big, but this thing is huge. So we're going to go find Megan and Carson and eat this tasty cookie. And then uh, we will go to the next booth, and we'll tell you how this one was. Carson, what do you think about the black and white cookie? Is it good? The next one's going to be for Mom. You don't like it? Good, I'll eat it. What's the next one? The Linzer cookie, the ones with the jam inside Mom just made. Oh! I don't think I've ever had a black and white cookie in my entire life. But that was really, really good. I might have to go buy a third one because now you two are going to finish that off. I want to eat the Linzer. I'll take a bite of the Linzer. Do you like the black and white cookie? My favorite. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's keep walking. You ready, fella? All righty, now we are at the American Pavilion. We are at the, I think it's Holiday Kitchen, I think is what it's called. And we're here for the gingerbread cookie. So we can get our fourth of the five to get that completer cookie. So, gingerbread man cookie? Yeah! All right. All right, so from the American Holiday table, we've got gingerbread cookies. So we got one for Camden one and one for me. Carson. And Camden's trying to be a little vlogger now too. So I'll let him do his thing. Oh, they're so cute. I'm just not a fan of gingerbread cookies per se. So. We got a couple of those, and now we're gonna look for mom, and then all we need is the Linzer cookie. All right, you guys, gingerbread cookies. Carson, what do you think? Is he so cute? Looks better than the ones we made on the uh, Maritime cruise. All right, so that's four down. We got one more to go, and mom's favorite. Gotta go to Germany and get the Linzer cookie. Oh, that doesn't look like it's close to being done. That's the Regal Eagle. I thought it would have been done uh, a little before. Not so much. Candlelight processional tonight. I don't know who it is. The past couple years around this time, it was Kyle Ripken Jr. I think it's somebody different this year. All right, off to Germany. We're almost there, I can see it. All right, so this is the Bavaria Holiday Kitchen for the Linzer Cookie, Megan's favorite. Hopefully she'll share, but we'll see. All right, so we had to pause the cookie trail for a little bit. We were going to try to get that Linzer cookie, but the line was a little long and we are running short on time to hop on Soren. So before we lose that fast pass, we got to get to the land and go take flight on Soren. I love the mural at the land. It's so cool. I need some air. It's only like 70 something degrees today, but we just booked it so hard. I'm going to showcase to here. It's starting to schvetz a little. But we're almost there. There. It is. The week after Christmas, so everything is super duper crowded. All right, we're almost there. Soaring around the world. Camden, not quite as great as uh, soaring around California like yeah. we were out at Expo, but still pretty awesome. And we made it. Our fast pass was good until 310, and it is 307. So we made it just in the nick of time. So let's scan these bands and ride the ride. All right, sure, I'm glad we have a fast pass. Sure, let's go see how tall you are. I'm glad we have a fast pass. This is a 90 minute wait right now, but we've got fast pass. All right, we're getting close. This is where uh, the fast pass and the standby merges. So you can just skip a bunch of that line at least, man. This is what you get when you come the week after Christmas, man. You know, it's gonna be super crowded. This is an hour and a half wait, even with you know the expanded theaters they've added the past couple of years. But we're almost there with the fast pass. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the under-seat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. That is, seat, seat belt, carry-on items, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah. Have a nice Alright guys, here we go. Time to go soaring. You ready, Carson? We're gonna go way high. The only bummer about this ride on Soren is we are the third row all the way at the end. So we're gonna see feet and we're gonna be right on the edge of the screen. The middle is the best, middle front, but a ride on Soren is still better than no ride on Soren. Oh, I think we're getting ready for takeoff. 
Soaring to tower. We are ready for takeoff. Second time on Soren, did you like it? You were liking it, huh? Some of those things scared you that jumped out though, right? It's okay. Yeah, like the white Eiffel Tower, that's super bright. Yeah, it's super bright. All right, well, we're done with Soren. Now let's go ride Spaceship Earth. All right, Carson, here's your big ball ride. Can I just park it here? Yep. It's time for Spaceship Earth. You gotta ride it now because it's gonna be going down for a long refurb soon. That is a long wait. We have fast pass, but I'm curious to see how long this is. It is quite long. It is like out of the line at the moment. Oof. Again, Disney Christmas week. Yikes. 55 minutes standby. Oof. We got a ways to go, but Cosmic Rewind looking good. Camden, you want to pay attention so you know where you're going? Uh-uh. You're trying to go in a wrong way, dude. For the back side of the water. How about the underside of Spaceship Earth? All right, almost there. Time to go to space. Well, not really. Time to travel through time. Time travel. Time travel. If they ever decide to make that mural into a t-shirt, I want it immediately. All right, time for Spaceship Earth.
All right, so we are now done with Spaceship Earth. As you can see behind me, the big giant ball. And now we're going to head over to World Showcase and go to the Mexico Pavilion and ride three caballeros because we have a 515 for La Hacienda de San Angel, which I'm very excited about. We haven't been there in a long time. So let's go to World Showcase and head over to Mexico. It's a very cool little picture spot with uh, all the topiaries, the little snowman, Donald, Goofy, Chippendale, always causing trouble. Here's some I kind of not see many photo pass people out there. These are all these cool spots, but no photo pass. Mickey and Minnie with the big present. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Ah, that breeze though. That breeze. All right, so we've made our way over to Mexico. We're gonna go ride the uh, three caballeros and then go right across the way. We go to La Hacienda for dinner because Megan mentioned Mexican like I don't know maybe a week ago. You know, all I've wanted is Mexican food, and we got a last-minute reservation to head on over there. And have some tasty guac and whatever. It's gonna be good. Wow, this is the longest we'll ever have waited for the Grand Fiesta Tour. It says 25 minutes. It's usually pretty much a walk on, but this has switchbacks and everything. So it is jam packed. But we still got some time before dinner. Where do you so go? We're gonna give it a whirl. All right, our boat's here. One more ride, and then we get some grub, because Camden is hungry. You better eat that dinner. So we're leaving the Grand Fiesta Tour and go right across the way. That is uh, La Hacienda de San Genel. And that's where we're gonna go for dinner. It's been a long time, General, since we've had that. So I'm starving for some Mexican food. I'm with the chips and the guac and it all. And mommy needs a nice cold drink. So here we are. That was a 10 second walk. All right. Ooh, it smells good in here. Very cool. Are you guys ready to eat some tasty food? Kim, I think there's a dip that you would really, really like. It's called queso fundido. What's in it? I guess you have to wait and see. All right, we were waiting for like, I don't know, a minute or two. And our table's ready. Look at that view out there. A World Showcase Lagoon. How cool is that? Wow, this is a lot bigger in here than I remember it being. This place is pretty huge. This is a good spot to come eat if you want to see fireworks. And our table. So we've got our table here at La Hacienda de San Angel. There's all kinds of good stuff to choose from, man. I think we're definitely going to get a guacamole. 
probably with the corn peppers and pumpkin seeds. I'm pretty sure that's what they have outside at one of the little stands. And I think we're gonna also get the queso fundido, because I got that years ago when we were here, and it was super good. And then they have all kinds of entrees. I know they have fish tacos, carnitas, which I love. They've got some enchilada, veggie enchiladas, veggie tacos. They have tons and tons of stuff to choose from. And on the other side, they have all the margaritas. They've got a wine list, tequilas, lots of stuff to choose from. Perfect tip. All right, so we've got chips and salsa, which is basic at every Mexican restaurant. But then we have uh, queso fundido coming and guac, and mom got a drink. What did you get? Now she doesn't even know. Well, what is it? It was mango, it's like a mango margarita. And orange mango fire. Orange mango fire. Last time you hear you got like a blueberry thing or it something, was right? Blueberry basil. Sounds so bizarre. How are the chips? I'm so stinking hungry. Carson, how's your milk and chips? These travel days, I get so hungry, so I'm gonna stop talking and start eating. All right, so our appetizers are here. We have a guacamole with corn and pumpkin seeds. Was there something else in it? That was it? This is queso fundido, Cam. You'll really like this. This is like a cheese dip with chorizo in it. And then they even bring you like little tortillas. So you can make, she said you could put like the queso fundido in a little tortilla, so. <laughs> Carson, go ahead, buddy. All right, Carson, your food came in. She was nice enough to bring your stuff out first. What'd you get? Chicken tenders and double fruit cups. And Camden, what did you get, buddy? Quesadilla. Quesadilla, fruit cup and rice. The corn and pumpkin seed guacamole in the case of Fundito is ridiculously good. I could eat it all on my own, but I'll share a little. All right, so the food's here, and I got the ensalada con polo asado, which is grilled organic chicken breast over spinach, goat cheese, mango, and pumpkin seeds, and a goat cheese dressing. That looks super good. And Megan, what did you get? Um, like a plain steak with vegetables. Ah, uh, yeah, me. Like black beans and rice. Yeah, black beans and rice. And Carson, how's your food? Since you've barely eaten it, that was mainly Camden. Camden crushed some food. You did a good job, dude. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> What'd you get, babe? This. Birthday ice cream? Darcy, you don't want to buy the ice cream? You're going to eat the candle. What a weirdo. If you eat. A candle. I don't want to see what it looks like coming out later. Mm. Mm. You're just using the candle as a spoon? What kind of ice cream is it? It's like caramel. Mm, I might have to, you know, try it for research. I think so. Alright, so we just had dinner at La Hacienda de San Angel and came to what did you think about it? Good. I thought it was fantastic. It's been it's been a while since we've eaten here. It was, I don't know, at least a few years because Carson was a teeny tiny little baby and he's just about five in a couple of months anyway. So it's been a while, but it was fantastic. The salad that they had was nice and light after eating all that queso fundido and uh, the guac and all that. So it was really good. But now we're gonna go walk to living with the land. So let's go. All right, back at the land. This time to go do living with the land because it's got its a uh, Christmas overlay on it, so there's some cool Christmas things on there. Seen some on YouTube, it looks awesome, so let's go check it out. Man, this line earlier was like a 50 minute wait or something. Right now it's only 15 minutes. Living with the land, we all the dee -de 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 -de. All right, we're getting on. Time for holiday living with the land. All right, here's some Christmas stuff. Isn't that cool? Is this the light tunnel? It's just tunnels with lights and look, there's more inside the greenhouse. Yet still respect the needs of the land. Some of the answers are being discovered. Pretty cool. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems. And for your safety, please bring them out safely. Aw, the lights in Living with the Land look so cool. All Christmas fied. Carson, I see some snowmen. I honestly don't think we've ever done this at night before. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Africa and the U.S. Department of All the little colored lights in the sand, even. Innovative ways to produce valuable harvests now and into the future. 
Hello, snowmen. Those are really cool. Those are cool. To the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like the banana, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Mm -hmm. These are just a few of the edible plants. That I like these little lights. Source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted. Pretty cool. To well, that's cool, like a little hidden snowman in one of the shrimp tanks. And there's the Mickey. They need to kill some of these lights off. It's very festive. Have you got some Christmas music going too? For nearly two thirds of our global food consumption, learning how to increase yields of these staples is important. Little like popcorn and is that like supposed to be cranberries or something? Or tomatoes? They look like cranberries. They sure did. Like us. Wow! Look at all these lights. They should keep living with the land like this all the time. Look at the reindeer. Mickey reindeer. While more efficiently using resources like all the lights and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests. Look at that little colorful light blinking in there. That's super cool. That is the biggest gourd thing, whatever. The little veggie wreaths with the peppers and the cherry tomatoes and the cucumbers. This is very pretty. Happy holidays from Living with the Land. This is super cool. I'm glad we got to do this. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way. You got snowflakes, some stockings hanging. That's like an ornament in there. That's so cool. Combined hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants. And the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another oh, great way to like Those lights are cool. Oh, uh, yeah. I like the ice. In our lab, yeah. Yeah. scientists yeah, are working really cool. with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to... Well, Christmas is definitely not over in Disney. Still going strong. Not until New Year's. Very cool. Yeah, this is brand new for this year. They've never done this before. So, Kim, what do you think about Christmas living with the land? You like it, Mom? What do you think about Christmas living with the land? Well, this is already like one of your favorite rides. Yeah, that was super cool. I'm glad we got to do it for sure. Well, that was fun. All right, obviously we are not in Epcot anymore. We are now at the arcade over at the Beach Club. We have a eight o'clock reservation for Beaches and Cream, the all new Reefer Beaches and Cream. And it's about 7.25 right now, and they don't even let you check in until about 15 or 20 minutes before your reservation. So now we're killing time in the arcade. Beaches and Cream, you gotta get your act together. It's the only restaurant where you can't check in a decent amount of time ahead of time. I've gone to places an hour before my reservation and uh, got a table. But Beaches and Cream, apparently, they don't let you do it. So we're gonna waste some time here in the arcade, which is much smaller than it used to be. This is on the new wall from where they uh, took out the arcade to 
expand Beaches and Cream. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and wait till we're actually allowed to check in to Beaches and Cream. All right, Camden, what'd you just do? Uh, that's cool, so there's like a photo booth, but it's a comic book booth, and it prints you out like a, on the front of a comic book page in like a character form. That's pretty cool. Thank you. What is it's like a Marvel photo booth. That's pretty cool. All right, so we were finally allowed to check in here at Beaches and Cream. And again, this just reopened. Today's December 28th. It officially reopened December 26th. They did a couple of soft openings, but now it's officially open. A lot of the same things we know and love, like the No Way Jose, the Kitchen Sink. Uh, I think that has like a couple other Sundays that stayed the same. And now they have a couple of new additions like Cookie Fries. So they are basically giant cookies that are cut into strips that look like fries and they come with dipping sauces and whatnot. There are some new menu items as well, like a French dip and a salmon sandwich, but we aren't here for the savory. We are here for the sweet. So we're checked in and now we are just waiting for our table. All right, so we got our table at Beaches and Cream and it's obviously much, much bigger than it was before. The kitchen is absolutely gigantic. And I love all the little art pieces on the wall. So we're here tonight only for dessert. So we're gonna order dessert and then head back to the room. But yeah, this place is uh, it's pretty awesome. I like the lighting pictures too. It all looks really cool. And they still have a good old jukebox here at Beaches and Green too. So I'm super glad they didn't get rid of that. Love it. Lots of bar seating and a much bigger kitchen like I told you. But oh, they did a really good job with the sweet food. I dig it. Hey Carson, what do we order? You know what we got? I know. What do we get? Chocolate Lover's Kitchen Sink. Yeah, not bad. Do you know what's in it? Chocolate. I do. I looked it up. Let me see if I can find it. Carson, do you know what's in the kitchen sink? Chocolate. I'll tell Reese's. you. There. No. Uh, chocolate ice cream, cookies and cream ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Then there's brownies, candy bars, caramel from Milky Way, Oreos, chocolate sauce, chocolate chips, sprinkles, and chocolate shavings. And don't forget a whole oh, can of whipped cream. cream. Carson, you don't like whipped cream though, right? I do. Are you going to get a big spoon of it? You're mean. <laughs> Somebody's very grouchy. Oh. <laughs> don't be a grouch. Carry one. kitchen sink. Carson, are you ready? Yes. Camden, are you ready? On your mark, get set, eat. All right. All right. All right, so we are all done at Beaches and Cream. We went in and had that giant kitchen sink that we showed you off. The uh, Chocolate Lover's Kitchen Sink. It was super fantastic. Really like the uh, way they refer Beaches and Cream. I think it's really, really nice inside. It still has a lot of that charm. I love all the art on the walls and everything. So all in all, I think a pretty good job and we'll be back on uh, New Year's Day to try some savory food for lunch before we go to the airport. But it's not really showing it off on the camera right now, but it is raining. We're gonna walk back to the boardwalk to call it a night. So I'm gonna put this away so it doesn't get soaking wet and uh, we will wrap it up and call it a night soon. Walking back to our room, the boardwalk is looking mighty wet and mighty slick. How does everybody feel after that kitchen sink? How do you feel after the kitchen sink? I'm done. Not so hot? Camden. Yeah? How's your tummy after that kitchen sink? Uh... Ready for more? I want to follow that guy. Such a ride. I love this thing. We rent our strollers from Kingdom Strollers. That's a free plug. And it comes with like a giant stroller cover. So we enclose them in bubble wrap and then they're nice and dry. So we are not above Big River Grill like I thought we were earlier. So we're above Trattorio Alfarno, I guess. 
Anyway, we're gonna walk back to our room and then call it a night because we gotta wake up tomorrow morning super duper early. Probably like, I don't know, we gotta be up at four and out of the room by 4.30 to head to Galaxy's Edge to get on Rise of the Resistance. So we're gonna call it a night. That is gonna do it. We will talk to you tomorrow. And thanks again for watching another episode of Nick Does Disney. All right.